issues here. Meanwhile, Freed American Pastor Andrew Brunson speaking out after his long-awaited release from Turkey, recounting his time in prison and also the moment he got to pray with the president upon his return. It seemed that uh, there was no way out, and I lost a lot of hope. And what helped me, uh, I began to see that there was value in my suffering, especially as time went on. When we learned we would be able to visit him in the White House, we prayed together, my wife and I, and asked God to give us that opportunity to pray for the president. And it's a great privilege. I think many pastors would love to do it. And our president needs prayer. Republican Congressman Mark Walker is from Brunson's home district in North Carolina, joins us now. Congressman, what was it like uh, to see Pastor Brunson return back home? Yeah, it, it was really a, a, a moment of celebration uh, in just that, in fact, I heard him say that yesterday, that quote, I began to see the value in my suffering uh, in a world and even in our country where there's so much political division and nastiness to see someone really live out their Christian faith like that is really an example for us all. You know, he talked about the suffering that he went through, but he found mm -hmm. value in that suffering. Uh, while he waited this out, he didn't know how long he was going to be there. He returns home, a miraculous story, alongside his wife. He was on Fox this morning, and he was talking about that moment in the Oval Office with the president and the opportunity to pray with the president. What did you think about that moment? I thought it was a very special moment. Uh, Sandra, think about the contrast of weeks earlier being uh, forced into a, a prison-like cell with 21 other people uh, that should have only had eight. So you go from that setting, uh, being in a very difficult situation, to now you're sitting praying over the President of the United States in the Oval Office. Um, as a person of faith and a former pastor myself, uh, I think it's just something that we can celebrate, how God can work out what looks like to be a hopeless situation. But he often uses and chooses people that aren't the most bombastic people, like a Pastor Brunson, who has allowed his faith to really come shining through. We got to meet Jackie, his daughter, a few months ago when we brought her over to, uh, to the Capitol, had her meet with some people. And her hope was that her father would be able to get the chance, the opportunity to walk her down the aisle in a formal wedding. Now that's going to get to happen, and we're very excited about that. Congressman Walker, uh, in, the, in the statement that you released soon after uh, Pastor Brunson's release, you said in that near the end, this needs to be the end point for the many acts of aggression uh, for Turkey. Will it be? What do our relations look like going forward? Well, as most of your viewers know, we have other Americans that have been caught up uh, in being accused of being part of this revolution uh, that, uh, that happened last year. Uh, we have no evidence that any of that is true. But I will tell you, the president does deserve some credit. They have not negotiated this. They've not backed off on this. They've used their platforms, he and the vice president. And I believe that's one of the part of the reasons that we've had seen success in bringing home another 18 uh, prisoners or people in, held in captivity. We're going to think, I believe we're going to see this administration have more success in those areas by continuing to hold those strong and firm stances. Meanwhile, uh, on the issue of immigration, Congressman, I want to ask you about this mm -hmm. because we have now seen the president threaten to cut financial aid to Honduras over this large group of migrants heading towards the U.S. border. The president tweeted this out, quote, we have today informed the countries of Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador that if they allow their citizens or others to journey through their borders and up to the U.S. with the intention of entering our country illegally, all payments made to them will stop. And what mm -hmm. did you make about that warning coming from President Trump? I think that warning and that kind of stance is long overdue, Sandra. We're talking about 538 million, over, nearly, well, actually over half a billion dollars that we send in aid. <clears throat> we are happy to do that, but there's got to be some standard. Our country takes in one million legal immigrants. I believe we have 37 million legal immigrants. And, and most people that would, I hope that would look at this from a common sense perspective, understand that we have to have some balance there. That's why the wall needs to be built. That's why we need funding for border security. We cannot continue to have this influx. Uh, listen, I've worked in the refugee camps both as a pastor and now as a member of Congress. Doesn't mean that we're any less compassionate, but we have to honor the laws that we have in this country. It's clearly a, 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 an issue that is very close to you and important to you, Congressman. And, and of course, on the return of Pastor Brunson, I'm sure your state and the residents of your state are still celebrating that. Um, so thank you for coming on the program yeah. to talk about it this morning. Good to have you.
Thank you, Sandra. Oh. Thank you.